Oh my god, my tree's not plugged in. Can you guys believe it? Like, I'm in my own house right now. Everyone's like asking me for a condo tour. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do one yet because like I wouldn't do a house tour of my parents' house when I was like living there. And just because it was like my house and like, I don't know. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it here. I'm thinking about it, like it's so cute here. So I definitely wanna show you guys, but like I'm gonna get started because I have not put makeup on since Saturday night. And it's Thursday. I got my hair cut also. I got my extensions out. Um, and then my hair was like long. It was like down to here. And um, I asked you guys like in my video if I should do like that lob and go blonde. And everyone was like, yeah, do it. And like, you know, I really want to do it. So I cut my hair and then I have my appointment tomorrow to like go blonder. So we'll see how it looks. So I kind of feel like that American Girl doll kid right now. <laughs> if you guys follow my Snapchat, you guys know that it literally took me like an hour to find my makeup because it's all I'm such an idiot I packed it all in these big bags and I didn't like sort through them nothing I was just an idiot everyone always says like oh my god moving is so rough so difficult and I was like it's fine it's really it takes a lot of it takes a lot out of you I'm a mess because literally my makeup is not oh I forgot highlighter normally I edit out brows but I'm just going to do them because I'm just gonna do my makeup how I normally would and just like talk to you guys and whatnot. Yep, I need to get my brows done too. What is new? I literally think in every video I'm like, wow, I really need to get my brows done. I like still want to do Vlogmas and like I'm gonna start vlogging again probably tomorrow or something. Um, this week was just crazy, whatever. And also I forgot my vlogging camera battery in that hotel I stayed in in Virginia. Is the lighting okay? I think it looks a little bit dark. Um, I just have my two box lights up. I should probably get my ring light out. When I set up my space upstairs and like make my studio good, um, I'm gonna have much better lighting. Just right now, I'm like the I'm in the only place in my living room that has outlets that is able to have stuff plugged into them yeah I was just so excited to film again like I really was because I was like I'm back on YouTube but like now I feel like I'm my old self again like I feel like I'm back and I was I woke up today so excited to film I also always have music playing I realize that when you have your own house it's fun to have music playing all the time. I'm just excited to do my makeup today because then I can see if I like this hair length or not. <laughs> it took me literally like 10 minutes start to finish to towel dry my hair to the point where I was done my hair, which is amazing because with extensions it takes, like you need to dedicate a half hour to your hair. So I would literally go as long as possible to not wash my hair, like it was gross. My kombucha is making a weird noise. Please calm down. Do you guys drink kombucha? Oh, I love it. Um, this is the one that I drink. Um, oh, is this a Synergy? I don't know if this is Synergy. GT's. What are the ingredients? Um, okay, well, this is the kind that I drink. Um, you get it at Target, Giant, Wegmans, wherever you go for your groceries. I'm sure it's going to have it. Um, I went to Whole Foods around here, and they didn't have, like, the Health Aid Booch, and that's the kind that I really want to try, but they didn't have it, so that's what I drink. Um, it, like, when you first taste it, you're probably going to be like, ew. It honestly is, like, kind of an acquired taste. Like, you have to warm up to it a little bit. But once you warm up to it, it is so refreshing. And kombucha is very good for you. Look it up. Look up the health benefits. Do a little research on it. It does have alcohol in it, but it's like the smallest amount of alcohol ever. Like you would never get drunk off of it and you don't need to be 21 to buy it. It's like it's fermented tea and wine is fermented grapes, I think. So it's just like the fermenting process produces a little bit of alcohol. But I mean, a little bit of alcohol is healthy for your body. See the lighting of this video is going to be so weird because it's like cloudy today and I'm not set up. I'm setting up the entire upstairs of my place as a studio. It's going to look so
so good. I also want to go to the farmer's market today and get some fruit. Oh my god. Okay, this is literally just going to be all about like my new house and stuff because I'm pathetic. But you guys, okay, so I got a toaster oven and I just want to say... I think toaster ovens are the cutest thing in the entire world. And I don't know, I just think bread in toaster ovens tastes better than a toaster. If you've never had a toaster oven, convince your mom, convince your dad, convince your grandparents, whoever, to, I feel like I'm a school teacher because you know how at schools are always like, ask your guardian or parent or whatever. Um, ask them to convert to a toaster oven. Um, the other day I was shopping with my mom. I forget where we were. I think we were at Giant getting groceries or something. When we were there, there were babies and a lot of old people. Old people love Giant. Um, like grandmas and cute like that. And I had the same reaction towards babies that I was having towards old people. I was like, oh, they're so cute. My mom's like, why do you like love old people so much? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't know. Okay, this is like a good foundation. Uh, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I want to get that Marc Jacobs one. Tana put it in her video. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to try it. Because I love my Dior Air Flash. But I literally can tell that I'm almost on the bottle. And I got it a week ago. So I need to stop using that so much because it's a problem. I brought this bad boy out because I want to be, like, highlighted to the gods today. I'm so mad I forgot my highlighters upstairs. I have to go dig to go find them. Um... So I'm going to use a mixture of MAC Studio Tech in NW20 and the YSL in their gold shimmery one. I don't really know what it's called. Um, I want your opinion on something. Um, I started talking about this in another video and I literally like fast forwarded it and voiced over it because I got so heated about this. But last night I was up late watching like videos about it and I really just want to know what you guys think about it. What do you guys think of gossip channels and like drama channels and stuff? I was watching Shannon Rose's video, Respond to Sanders, and I will be the first to admit that I don't support Sanders' channel whatsoever, not even in the least bit, um, because it's very obvious that he's just doing it for subscribers and views, which I think is kind of sad, but at the same time, that's what everyone on YouTube does. So... Um, I understand why he's doing it, but I don't support his channel, and I don't watch his videos. Um, so I was watching Shannon, like, reply to his videos, and again, like, I literally don't even watch his videos. Um, but then I was also watching Josh, John, Josh, I think it's Josh, Josh's videos about Danny Man Mancetti, and, um... You know, whatever. And obviously, watching anyone's drama channels won't sway my opinion. And, like, I totally understand the appeal of drama channels. Because, like, you know, you put on, turn on, like, E! News and everyone's, like, obsessing over the latest drama. And it's, like, fun to, you know, watch it and see what's going on. And read the tabloids um, and the grocery line and whatever. But at the same time, like, we're YouTube. We're a community. So why are there some channels dedicated to like talking shit i just don't really get it so I, what my question to you is do you like those channels and do you support those channels like what do you guys think of them okay so i was digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging for i'm not kidding like probably 20 minutes to find my rcma no color powder i couldn't find it but i did find this so i'm gonna bake with this and see how it works it's probably gonna give me horrible flashback but we're gonna see it's It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, and this is a really great powder anyway, so I want to see if it bakes well. <coughs> okay, so it's very drying underneath the eyes. Look at that. Holy shit. <coughs> I should see my black pants right now. Rookie, rookie move, Tori. Okay, good. I can always do this side so well, but then it comes to this side, and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Guys, yesterday, um, 11th Gorgeous followed me on Instagram, and my 2012 self, 2011 self, was like, <sighs> I got the Kai Shadow palette, the, her, her holiday one. The formula, the shadows that are good are really good. The shadows that suck really suck. Like, holy shit, this palette is so bad and so good at the same time. 
Um, and I'm not just saying that because it's Kylie and, you know, like, because it's Kylie, she gets a really bad rep. And because it's Kylie, she gets a really good rep. So it's so in the middle. Um, so I am looking at this as just a palette. Obviously, because it's the Kai shadows, I'm holding them to a little bit of a higher expectation. But I'm trying my best to be very unbiased. You know what I mean? I vlogged about this. I absolutely love this color. I'm probably going to wear this color every day. Like, literally, I love it. The blue is so disappointing. Like, let me show you guys. Okay, first off, let me show you this. It is rich. It's buttery. It's beautiful. Such an amazing color. And then you get this one. And do you guys just see the difference of those? Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, you can feel it. Like, let me show you. This one is like chalky and it looks like it's missing parts. And this one is just rich and buttery and smooth. I don't know. It's just so hit or miss on those two. And I was so excited about that blue. Whatever. This is the Anastasia brush. It came in, I think, the Modern Renaissance palette. And it's a really good blending brush, you guys. Like, it really just gets in there and blends everything out. So I'm going to take that shade. The one thing I do love about this palette is this olive green, this color, and that color. Like, ooh, reason enough to buy the palette. That olive green is to die. I'm getting hungry. I might have to make a sandwich in my toaster oven. Um, question. <laughs> Another question. My mom and I in Vlogmas talk all the time about what we make and what we eat because we're both vegan. And um, also, I'm gonna thank you guys about Jimmy John's bread. I have read that they are vegan. I've read that they're not vegan. I don't know what to believe, but as I, I know that I won't be eating Jimmy John's again. So thank you guys for telling me. You guys always ask my mom and I like, where, what the recipes are, how do we make them, you know, stuff like that. And my mom and I were thinking, hmm, like, should we start a vegan vlog? Would you guys want that? Or a vegan Instagram? Like, would you guys want that from us? Is that something you guys would, like, enjoy? And if you would, what would you rather, a blog or an Instagram? Because the Instagram, it'd be the same as a blog. You'd just be on Instagram. Okay, and then maybe it's just the brush, but like, do you see how it kind of is a little patchy? This shadow is just such a beautiful color, I can't not use it. So this brand on Instagram reached out to me and they asked me if I would post a picture in their palette and put it on Snapchat. And I was like, yeah, sure, you know, I'll do it. Cause they're a small brand. I like helping small brands out, I think it's cool. So I'm going to post that picture today. Palette looks like this. It comes with, what is this? Comes with a long wear eyeliner in Lust and Chocolate. Interesting. And then you get this palette. I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen like other people post about this. They reach out to a lot of people. Um, there's another long wear eyeliner in Oh So Nude. Oh, this is pretty. Is this a, the, the, oh, this is a lip liner. So then this is what the palette looks like. So you have lip colors over here, bronzer, blush, and this is like a cream blush. And then you have your eyeshadows up here. So this really pretty one, I'm very excited to use this. Uh, this like mauve brown, oh, my dad's calling me. Olive green, super gorge, a mauve brown, and a light pink. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take that darker brown on that same brush that I was using. I'm just gonna toss this in the outer corner. Probably not gonna use that green. I really wanna keep this like a light, pretty, pinky glam look. I'm sure when I use that olive green in the Kai shadow, I'll peek into this green as well. I'm gonna flip that brush over because it's a double-sided brush. I'm just gonna wet it. This is Mario Badescu Facial Setting Spray. And I want it wet because I want it to be a little metallic. And then with this, I'm just going to pop that on my lid. That's something that I notice a lot with the Kai shadows. You put another color over top and they kind of just wipe away. Maybe I got a bad palette. I'm definitely going to have to get another palette and try it out. But I have noticed that and it's very bizarre. Like look, it's kind of just wiping away. I can't wait for my makeup to unpack so I can use like... My good makeup. You know how you have like good makeup and like shit makeup? I'm not saying this is my shit makeup, but I'm not saying it's my good makeup. I just want to know what's really funny. All the kids in high school that like talk shit on me for making videos are the ones that have texted me congratulating me. 
about moving out and buying my own place. Well, y'all are hating on the YouTubers. We're racking up money and making moves, people. This also has a lot of fallout, um, which is fine because I bake, but if this was wet underneath, I would not be happy. All right, there's that. I will finish the face in due time. Oh, I just know this is gonna have bad flashback. Should we test it? I just know the flashback is just gonna be so bad. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. It looks like I never wiped away my bait. You know, now that I think of it, I did post an Instagram like last October saying how bad this flashback was. Um, like aggressively patting this on. Maybe it'll help the bake sitch a little bit. Okay, so I look a little bit botched right now. <laughs> um, and then for underneath my eyes, I'm gonna take, I haven't used this powder in like a minute and a half. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. I'm literally such an idiot. Like black jeans, such a bad move, Tori. You know to wear sweatpants when you film. You know better than this. Max Studio Finish Natural Light Plus. Literally, I think I got this like five years ago. Such a throwback. And this is going under the eyes. For contour, I'm gonna take Hula by Benefit. Now's where my nose contour is gonna look a little bit more normal again. MAC 100 something, 109, 108, one of the two. And then I'm gonna take NARS Laguna. I, have, I haven't used this bronzer. I'm just gonna fluff my contour up. This will make my cheekbones look sky high, which is what I want. So I really wanna use Laura Geller Gilded Honey, but I can't find them. Um, so I am using Glow Kits today. I'm gonna use like whatever I kinda think. Mm, I don't know about this one right now. Okay, so wetting my brush didn't do a thing. Let's try that again. But I really just, I want like a heavy ass glow today. Okay, and then for blush, I was really in love with Flower Child by um, Becca. And then my dumb ass dropped it. I'm so upset. Like I know that you can like put them back together, but like I'm still so upset because I just really like loved, I was like really in love with that blush. So this is NARS Orgasm. I always see such pretty looks on Instagram and then girls will ruin it with way too much nose highlight or the nose contour looks botched and I'm just like, ugh. I'm gonna turn my camera off and I'm gonna apply lashes. These are our uh, Vegas Nay Grand Glamour. I'm gonna try these, see how they work. Um, if they fail miserably, I'm gonna switch to our Dell Wispies. Okay, I didn't do too horrible, but my nose contour just looks so bad today. So, so sorry about that. Um, I guess I'm pretty rusty, you know? Whatever. Okay, I'm literally just like throwing shadows, that one, under my eye. I'm putting it, keeping it kind of light underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna put on liner and masking and call it a day. Okay, the liner that I'm gonna use is that uh, highliner. Um, okay, and then where's the eyeliner? Uh, the mascara that I use. Okay, so this is just mascara that I use. It's Benefit They're Real. I'm really like scared to touch these lashes because it took so long to get them on. Because the band is so like tight and like stiff that I like, I don't know. It's just, they're kind of just. Uh, I'm going to take the shade. No. And I'm just gonna pop that on the inner corner. Literally just grabbed the first two colors that I picked out of my purse. This is Tom Ford in Blush Nude. And for lip gloss, I'm gonna use Moon Glow. Mm -hmm. Mark Jacobs. How in the hell do I fix this nose? Okay, so yeah, the hair's cute. All right, so it's like a cute, just like everyday pink look. 
I've been wanting to do like a glam pink look for a long time. I just haven't done it. I feel like I do it all the time, but then I like look back on pictures and like looks and I'm like, oh, like you really haven't, Tori. So this is the look. I hope you guys all like this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see. Again, I'm still going to think about that condo tour. Thinking about it. Do you guys like my hair? Let me know. I think it looks cute now that like my makeup's done. Oh, I got a little dent from the ponytail, whatever. Um, yeah, I think it's cute. I like it. It kind of makes me look like old, kind of like an old kit, you know what I mean? Badass kit. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to make a sandwich. And what time is it? Holy shit, it's almost 1 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to go. Love you guys. Bye.